Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss something about virtualization. So we will be discussing about uh, VMware networking configurations that how uh, we uh, connect these different virtual machines together and for that we will be discussing these uh, three options which we have uh, in VMware. One is bridge, net and host only. So in old days, if you wanted to have some client server architecture and maybe for learning purpose, we wanted the two machines, one acting as a client and second working as a server, for instance, in that case, we needed two physical machines for that. This is, and then we could maybe install some Windows server machine here and maybe some Windows client machine here and we could learn something for uh, our, our purpose. And of course, there are different applications of that. But now we can actually, uh, we can create these virtual machines on a single computer, like we have this here. So we have a single computer, we can create a single virtual machine. And this, in the same way, we can create a couple of virtual machines there. And uh, here, this uh, network administrator can actually use these virtual machines. One of the virtual machines can work as a client and the second virtual machine can work as a server. So this is just a, and that's the reason we, we work on the virtual machines and the virtualization. So this is how we deal with that. And for that, we have a video where we discuss that we have different kind of virtualization software by which we can actually create these virtual machines on our physical computer. So that's about virtualization. Now, in this case, if we can create multiple virtual machines on a single host or single physical computer, then in that case, we even don't need this one. So we don't need this and, uh, the, and, and the virtualization software, which can give us this facility. And there are many virtualization software, like we have this um, virtual box, but in this uh, video, we will be using VMware Workstation Pro and this VMware Workstation Pro actually provides following networking options to configure a virtual machine and to create virtual networking. So these networking options are bridged networking, host only networking, net network address translation, and custom networking. Now to create those virtual networks, so it means these are our virtual machines and they are all on single host. And we want to create a network of those virtual machines. And for that we have, uh, we have been provided by, with some, some virtual networking components. And uh, in those components, the first component is virtual switch. So it means by using this virtualization software that VMware Workstation Pro, we can have a virtual switch there. So this is first component. And of course, we know that virtual switch is used to uh, create a network, a local area network. And then we can also have a virtual network adapter. So as we are creating virtual net machines, all these virtual machines will have all the virtual things like hard disk and every other things, RAM and everything. So they will also have a virtual network adapter virtually created and that virtual network adapter is basically a program that will be acting as a physical network adapter so on a physical machine we will have a physical card like this but in virtual machines we will have a virtual network adapter okay? these are very basic things and then we will also we will also have a dhcp server that will again be a virtual dhcp server so we can have a dhcp server and that dhcp server uh, will be assigning the IP addresses to all these virtual machines. Everything virtual. And the final, we in addition to virtual DSP server, we will also have a net device which we will be using in 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 this option in net. Now this net device actually translates the IP address. Mostly this is from private to public IP address. We have. Um, the video on that as well anyway so net is uh, this, this is for translation and this net actually device passes the network traffic between virtual machines and the external network so whatever traffic will be generated that will be sent to that ip address and then that ip address will be the 
uh, interface to rest of the world. So we will discuss further detail in this. So these are some of the virtual components which we have in VMware Workstation when we will be configuring this all. Now, first is bridge networking. So in bridge networking, what happens? The bridge networking connects the virtual machines to a network by using the host computer's network adapter. So what happens here? We have, for instance, we have created multiple virtual machines, maybe one of the virtual machines running Linux operating system, other is running maybe Windows 10, other maybe Windows 2016. So they can be running different operating system there. So we have created virtual machines. And now these virtual machines will all have a virtual network adapter. So like they also will have a card here. And now the host network adapter will also be created there. A virtual host network adapter will be there. And now these all uh, virtual network adapter from this virtual machine and the host network adapter, they will all be connected with a virtual switch. That virtual switch again will be a virtual and that will be provided by that VMware Workstation Pro. And we have a by default switch created there. So that is VMNet. That is a virtual switch, VMNet. And that's, that, pre, that is pre-configured with bridged networking. So what does this mean? This means that this all virtual network adapter will be connected with this switch. So maybe virtual network adapter of second virtual machine, virtual network adapter of the third virtual machine and the host network adapter. So these all will be connected with this virtual switch. And then, for instance, we have uh, we are we are connected with maybe our host maybe our host is connected with uh, some uh, internet connected you are getting some ip address from somewhere so for example at the moment i'm connected with the wi-fi router so my host machine is kind of getting ip address from this router so the physical dhcp server will be giving ip address to this machine and now the same physical mesh, uh, the, the physical DHCP server, sorry, the same physical DHCP server will also be giving IP addresses to these virtual machine as well. So it means they will all be getting IP address from there. So for example, in my case, for example, my host machine is getting some IP address like 10 or 0, .0, 0 dot something. So in the same way, maybe for example, if I'm getting 20, so this, maybe this this virtual machine will be getting 10 point or 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 21 10 dot 0 dot 22 so this depends this depends what what ip address is being uh, assigned by this physical dhcp server but i mean to say that this physical dhcp server we have our uh, in our um, maybe uh, network so that server will be giving ip address to not only the host but this will also be giving the ip addresses to these virtual machines so in this case, what will happen? Let me clear it. What will happen? So logically, this will look like that. So this virtual machine will be a separate computer. This will virtual machine will be a separate computer. Like this virtual machine will be a separate computer and our physical machine will also be a separate computer. So this will look like this. And these all virtual machines can also access the internet so like this virtual machine may be running linux machine or linux operating system so this will also be connected using this router or wi-fi router this will also be connected with our internet this will will also be connected with the internet and this will also be connected with the internet and our host machine will also be connected with the internet so for rest of the world it will look like that we have a separate physical machine available on our network having these ip addresses which are actually given by this maybe this router of course on this side of this wi-fi we can have a public network here but on this side we have whatever home network we have we we have this now let me clear again so other physical machine can connect with the virtual machine as with other physical computer or the network. So for example, on our home network, for example, so this is maybe my service provider terminates here and this is my home network here on this side, on this side, for instance. 
So for example, at my home, I can have my I have my this computer, laptop, maybe smartphone, maybe tablet. So the they all can also talk with this virtual machine. They can communicate directly with these virtual machines like this. So this is about bridged network. So the they bridge can actually get connected with the internet. So these all virtual and of course, these virtual machines can also communicate with each other as well. So it means when we are going to configure or we are going to use this option in VMware Workstation, the bridge networking. So by default, we have a virtual switch there. So if you are going to select this option, in that case, our virtual machines will actually be acting as a physical, like, like physical machine and they can get connected with the internet and rest of the nodes can also uh, get connected with these virtual machines. And so this is about uh, bridge networking. Let's see the practical. Now for demonstration of this virtual networking, I have these two virtual machines. One is Kali Linux and then second one is Windows 10. These are virtual machines and I want to create a virtual network of these two virtual machines. And as we mentioned that for creating virtual machines, we need to have virtual switches and VMware actually provides us uh, this uh, virtual switches, which we can see from this option. And yes, I'm using this uh, VMware Workstation Pro. And if we go to help and uh, in this about VMware, you can see this is VMware Workstation 16 Pro. And you can download the trial version. I'm going to put the link of this VMware in the description section. Anyway, if you want to see the virtual switches, so by default, this VMware provides us uh, some virtual switches. And to access that, we can go to edit and then virtual network editor. And in this virtual ed network editor, if we uh, see, if you just click on this change setting, maybe we can see that now we have these all virtual switches, which are um, created which as I mean by default at the time of installation I have this VMnet 0, VMnet 1 and VMnet 8. So VMnet 0 will give us the functionality of bridge networking, VMnet 1 is host only and VMnet 8 is a net. So first we are going to create a bridged networking so that will have all the characteristics which we discussed. So like this we have already this uh, virtual switch created but if you want to create maybe some new virtual switch, then we can also do like that as well. Like if we say maybe add network and then we can select any of the virtual switches here. But at the moment, I'm going to select this, which is already created by default. I mean, this is a bridge. So we can see that we already have these virtual switches created by the VMware. Now just we have to join these virtual machines with that virtual switch. It means we have to connect these virtual machines with that virtual switch. So first I'm going to create the bridge network. So for that, I'm going to this Kali Linux machine. And then here we have this option that is edit virtual machine setting. Or we can go to this VM and then we can also go like this. We can go here as well and we can select that directly from here as well but as we are already there so we can see here so here we will click on this network adapter of this virtual machine so i'm at the moment at the kali i have select kali and in the kali we have this network adapter and at the moment i'm interested in creating bridge network so that's bridge connected directly to the physical network so i've just selected that one and then if I say OK, it means now this Kali is connected with VMnet 0. That is actually the bridged network. And then in the same way, we have this Windows 10. And for connecting this Windows 10 with uh, bridge network, what we can do here, we can again go to VM and then setting or we can just click on this edit virtual machine settings. And we have this network adapter, which is actually connected. So the network adapter of Windows 10, which it shows that this is connected with net, but we want to change it to bridge. So I just click and bridge and this OK. It means now these two machines are connected with VMnet 0, this virtual switch, and that is actually offering us 
this bridged network connection. So now I'm going to turn on this Windows 10 machine and also this Kali machine as well. So they are putting up. It will take maybe a few moments for them to turn on. And then we will verify that this bridge network is actually uh, created and then both of the machines can uh, use internet services and they can ping each other and they can also ping the host machine as well. So for that we can see here this loading is still it's taking some time maybe I need to forward it. So this is Kali. So this is Kali and uh, we log in here. And the same way for Windows as well, this is booting. So meanwhile, we can see the Kali here. If we go to terminal here, click there. And we can see the IP address for this. So for that, we have ifconfig and press enter. We can see this uh, Kali machine has been given an IP address as 10.0.0.41. And if we go to Windows, for example, this is still working on that. But in the meanwhile, if you want to see the IP address of my host machine, then you can see like IP config. And I can show that the host machine has also got an IP address that is 10.0.0.25. And you can see on this Kali that was 10.0.0.41. And if from this Kali machine, if I want to ping my host, so that is actually the host operating system or the physical computer which I'm using. If I want to ping this from here, so I can use like 10.0.0.25 and you can see we are able to ping from this guest operating system to the host operating system. And in the same way, if you look at the Windows machine, so first we need to log in here. So first we are going to provide sorry, this password and then we will see so this will okay, this will take some time and we can also yes we can so this windows 10 if we go to command prompt and first let's verify what is the ip address of this virtual machine you can see this is 10.0.0.42 so it means this is also on the same subnet like my host machine also this uh, this machine and also this windows 10 uh, virtual machine okay so we can see that uh, let's break it now if from this Kali if you want to ping this Windows 10 machine so that is 10.0.0.42 so for this ping ping 10.10.0.42 and press enter so we can see from Kali we can reach Windows 10 and from Kali we can also reach the host machine so this is how the bridge network is created and if you want to verify that these virtual machines are also able to access internet for that i can maybe ping google.com maybe so you can see we are getting reply from that so that it means we are connected with the internet as well